All right, let's do this. So got a bunch of boxes from friends uh, the past week and a half. Uh, like I uh, announced in the, um, the last live video. So the first one I got was from uh, worst YouTube channel ever. Um, so when I got this box, uh, I learned that other boxes were coming too. So I said, um, I'm going to open these all up together. So the, this one arrived about uh, a little over a week ago. Gotcha team. Hi, welcome. Royce and McNally. Hi. David Jones from the worst YouTube channel ever. Good morning. JK. Hello. So the box from Fax from Australia was in customs. So I knew that. And then uh, JK sent me a message that uh, he was also getting a box ready. So uh, I told him uh, I would try to get that in uh, this live video too. So he was so kind to quickly send it on Monday. So it arrived here uh, Friday. So I got three boxes to show you. Um, did not anticipate the uh, boxes being so big. Uh, so yeah, it might be... Uh, a uh, little bit longer than I anticipated uh, last week. Uh, you guys are definitely spoiling me, sending me uh, all this stuff. Barbara Kurt, hello. Uh, I think it's not Barbara, but uh, I can't remember the name. Rudy Moons, goedemiddag. So let's start cutting these open because there's a lot of stuff to look at. So I did not open these up. I want to open these up. Uh, live and uh, discovered together with you guys what's in there. All right. Oh man. Oh wow. Oh, I already see some great stuff. So there's a letter in here as usual from David. So he says, I was fortunate to find some of the Zamek you wanted. I grabbed a few others I thought you might enjoy as well. Take care, your friend David. Well, I will definitely enjoy, David. So this I was never able to find here in uh, Belgium or in Europe. Uh, we got this case in Belgium. It was in my local supermarket. But uh, this was never in there. So I don't know how that happened, but yeah, very cool that uh, I finally have this one. So this is the 2008 Lotus Evora in um, matte black. Very cool version. So yeah, very, very pleased to have this finally. Thank you so much, David, for that. I'm going to lower the camera a little bit because I have to really lift uh, my arm to show stuff. Yeah, that is absolutely awesome. Okay, there's some more carded stuff in here. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, this is a red edition. So this must be a Target exclusive. That is awesome. Lamborghini Raventon Roadster. Cool. And this is my first ever Target red edition. So, yeah, again, thank you for that, David. That is so cool. I love to get these store exclusives from all over the world i agree with you jk i like matte black better than shiny black hello from turkey iberg very nice so cool so cool and this looks like an oldie an old hot wheels judging by the card 1991 copyright look at that speed demons Oh, wow. Nice. BMW 850i. Gold metal metal speed. It's got uh, kind of a metallic blue purplish color. Gold rims. Hey Spartan, welcome. It's got the uh, red taillights that are part of the red interior. Yeah, this is awesome. Yeah, I do collect this model. Thank you so much, David. Very cool. Nice version. Got another red edition here. Wow. 
2015 Mercedes AMG GT. How cool is that? So not all the red editions are actually red. It does have the red. It's in a metallic white. Wow, very, very cool. Awesome, wow. <laughs> and look at this thing. Oh, wow. A 2018 Zamac Porsche 934S. Oh, David, you're spoiling me, man. This is nuts. Oh, this is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. Wow, look at that. It's got the headlights done, the Porsche logo, the, uh, the black trim on the bumper, side deco, nothing in the back and on top. So, so cool. Got the red rims. This is very, very nice. Wow. Unbelievable. And then we got a bunch of Lucy's. So uh, he opened this up on his uh, in his video. That's just fine by me. So this is the Morris Mini. So if you watch his channel, check out the worst YouTube channel ever. That's the name of the YouTube channel that uh, David Johns owns. Uh, he uh, unboxed these on his channel. And um, yeah, so these were uh, a few requests for me. And uh, that's why I'm uh, a little bit late today because I sought out the uh, I got out the regular versions of these to show you. So here we got the Morris Mini. There's uh, Art Cars Deco. So the sides, the top, and then here on the front fenders are some paint tunes. So now we've got a complete set. Thank you so much, David, for that. Very cool. Here we got the McLaren 720S. Wow. Very nice. So the tail lights done and the logo and some black paint here on top. This is all plastic. And then the yeah, Monaco McLaren. I got faxes box, and uh, they didn't charge me anything. So uh, my uh, nicely written uh, letter uh, worked out. So that's cool. Yeah, very very nice. Love it. So here we got the Audi RS5 coupe. Sweet. So all the tempos in the front and in the back. I like the look of these Samex, you know, they're so pure looking. And this is the regular version in red. How cool. Awesome. Very, very awesome. The Tesla Model S. So this is a, a silver version, so this is not a Zamac. Very cool model, I collect all of them. No, I don't ever come in Athens. That's a little bit too far to go chasing for diecast. I just go to the neighboring countries, the Netherlands, France, Germany. Cool. Sorry about that stuff coming in. And then we got 67 Mini, I think. Yeah, the minivan. Also kind of an art card, cars livery. So on the sides and on top is the deco. And these are the regular versions. So this is the blue base. And the other ones, the regular versions, have a yellow base. So in blue and in red. So again, I got the complete set. That's awesome. Thank you so much, David. 
never would have thought I would have been able to complete these uh, these sets with the Walmart exclusives. That's just uh, a dream come true, really. So here's the classic Nomad. The flames on the side and on top. Blue window piece. And the regular version is this one. I still have it carded, so I'm going to open it up. So again, I'm kind of completing a set here. That's awesome. These do have the same rims. The uh, yeah, the minis did the same, had the same rims too. Just check here. So so far, it's only the McLaren that had different rims. That's interesting. And then the last one, the BMW 2002. Nice. This is a very nice model. Both um, Hot Wheels and Matchbox did a great job on it. Cool. The regular versions are these. Now, unfortunately, I'm not going to open these up because I trying to complete this BMW set. I'm missing the motorcycle and the Z4. Uh, probably because there was a super treasure hunt of the Z4 and then the regular version gets scooped up by everyone too. That's why it's probably hard to find. So yeah, again, completing a set here, never would have thought I would have been able to do that. So again, thank you so much, David, for these. That's incredible. You are too kind. Then the second box I received, this has been in customs for ages, I think, judging by what um, Fax told me. In a very nice Australian box with the Australian flag on it. Maybe it uh, caught the attention of customs because of these Australian flags. Maybe they should not put these on there because uh, uh, the customs, uh, they uh, hear dollar sign, see dollar notes in their eyes when they see this passing by because they think you can make a lot of money on it. Luckily, uh, I wrote a letter to them and they uh, accepted my explanation. Um, it was sent to me September 15, so it took about a month to get here. Almost three kilos in there, so yeah, a huge box. Namak events uh, would have been uh, this month, but uh, it was uh, uh, deleted. Uh, how do you say that? Deleted. It's not the correct word, but uh, yeah, not uh, going to happen. Um, COVID is on the rise here. It's uh, yeah, no good, bad situation. Uh, the pubs are closed. The restaurants are closed. Closed again. Um, yeah, everyone has to work from home if possible, so it's not looking good. Wow, look at that. What's in what is inside? I'm going to put that in front of the camera here a little bit, but can't really see what's in there. I'm just going to lift it up so you can have a look. I recognize that red and white bag, got one of those in a previous box too. So let's see, Whew, there's a lot of stuff in here. Jeez, you guys are really spoiling me. Unbelievable. Okay, let's start on the left here. <laughs> what? Oh man, there's so much in here. Really? Oh wow. Look at that. Look at that. So these were the Majorette Toyota Corolla Altis exclusive for Thailand taxis that he was able to uh, get a hold of. Yeah, that's awesome. Taxi meter. How cool is that? Awesome, awesome, awesome. He sent me a Mitsubishi Pajero. 
from Welly. Nice. I do actually have this already, but don't mind an extra. You can see the structure there in the spare wheel cover. Really nice detail. Nice. We got a Mitsubishi Lancer here. And, uh, I think this is the last rendition. Yes, the 10. Evo 10. Did not have this. Welly, of course. Very cool. Thanks so much, Fax. This is awesome. And here we got the Hyundai i20. Don't have this one either. Never seen this in Europe. Uh, sorry, i30. So it's got a little bit of a playware, but that's okay. Glad to have an example. I had a colleague who had a station wagon version of this in silver. Nicely detailed in the back. Cool. He showed this in a video and he had two of them. So I uh, asked him if he could send one my way. And of course, being the kind person he is, he did. Cool. Here we got another taxi. Oh, wow. Awesome. This time in red. It's got a number on the back here. This, the other one didn't. Let's see? So a slight difference in the deco. In the tempos, I mean. Cool. Got another Lucy. The BMW Z3 in red. Cool. Not sure if I have this already. I need to check. 2.8. Maybe there's a date on it. Hmm. That's a strange date. I'm not sure it's the date though. Cool. And then we got this Land Rover Defender 90 by Majorette. So, suspension, of course, metal on metal. Still got the door in the back, but that's cool. It's missing the light on top, but that's okay. You know, it's got a little bit of playware, but all in all, it's a Pretty good shape. Awesome. Oh, wow. Look at that. He got me one of these. I don't have any of this set because they are so expensive here in Europe. The Volkswagen T2 pickup. This, um, what's this called? Golden Chrome series. Oh, wow. Awesome. Thank you, Fax. That is really cool. Nice. Ooh, wow, look at that. He sent me a bunch of Bugattis. <laughs> awesome. Very cool. Yeah, on the long card. This is an international long card. Yeah, they both are. Awesome. Yeah, I did not find many of these. I got two in a multi pack loose. Yeah, definitely getting spoiled here. Definitely getting spoiled here. What is that, man? What is in this box? That's crazy. Oh, yeah. This is what I've been waiting for. Not the Target baggie. That's cool too to have too, but... Dubai Police Supercars 3-pack. So he already sent me a gift pack with the 5 cars in it. And now he's also sent me this 3-pack. Awesome. So cool that these are available in Australia. So this has a 2017 date on it. So we got the Mercedes G-Wagon. 
got the Porsche Panamera we got the Audi R8 facelift cool so I will be opening this up in the uh, SOS cars video I was waiting for this to do that video okay what's this oh this is a big bag too uh, maybe I grab this in the back here first because uh, it's kind of hard to get that big bag out without taking these out first you can see some Tomica so these must be the Walmart exclusives oh wow oh this is cool the Mazda CX-5 police car oh really Monaco did uh, did Holden win uh, a race yeah maybe he's celebrating that that's possible he's a big Holden fan I send him all the Holdens I can find here in Europe because he can't find any because they're so popular there so I've been actually looking at uh, getting some uh, police cars from uh, Tomica on uh, Hobby Lane Japan so yeah very cool with uh, the thingy on top awesome very nice very cool to have these the special Walmart packaging Ooh, and a taxi awesome I've been looking at this one too recently yeah you know what I like fax unbelievable that is great Toyota Crown comfort taxi for my taxi collection I wanted I, I was thinking I need to get some uh, some Tomica versions for my uh, taxi collection and here I have some awesome that is cool yeah very cool very happy with those and then here we got a huge huge bag of stuff so maybe I take these bags out I don't know what these are it's the big box so put these here and put this here man this is completely filled okay so here we got the 13 caps australia exclusive taxi models so not only did he get me the thailand ones but also the um australia exclusive because this is an australian taxi company he already sent me a few in the previous box the high ace and i think the black version of this one so now i got the white one too that is awesome I love this you can't get these outside of Australia so it's very cool that I have these now thank you so much Fax that's awesome absolutely awesome it's kind of a mystery baggy here I'm just grabbing in there oh yeah so here's the scavenger hunt cars vehicle so I like to collect uh, chase vehicles from all kinds of die cast so uh, also uh, uh, I don't mind getting a car's chase vehicle either uh, I have um, a monster jam chase vehicle too special metallic edition yeah nice cool just randomly grabbing in there ooh street tuners nice Pandem Subaru BRZ cool very nice set this is all stock looking well I mean deco wise stock looking vehicles very nice set so I will open these up when I uh, have a display case oh yeah Volkswagen Jetta mark 3 from fast and furious this is already from a few years ago uh, yeah these are the other ones hey I got this one recently another set hmm they are reusing that apparently so that is cool I don't have any example of the Volkswagen Jetta by Hot Wheels so yeah that's really awesome thanks so much Fax you know what I like you definitely know what I like the 96 Nissan 180SX type X from the street tuners yeah that is awesome very nice looking 
just front and rear deco perfect Ooh yeah rw porsche 930 i have the team transport one but i don't have this one matte black look at that awesome yeah that is cool that is cool look at that look at that thank you so much fax honda s2000 yeah cool so that's already the third one from this set we have and i always tell him don't pay full price buy it when they are being on clearance and you know he did from a to 480 that's cool i don't mind the sticker being on the card i'm going to open them up eventually anyway so yeah that way i don't feel bad him getting me all this nice stuff if you just can grab it for cheap the 83 chevy silverado from the shop trucks all right so i have these so now i have this one too awesome this is only my second example i have of this one i have the one that came with the display case from hot wheel the what is it? bluish one so i have this one too cool All right, and there's the other. So this is a, a Zamac version, except for the paint on top. So now I have that complete set with the, the surfboard in the back. We'll have an example of this custom 62 Chevy pickup with the separate surfboard. I have the ones with the, the surfboard kind of molded into the plastic, I think. Cool. Oh yeah, that is awesome. The custom 69 Volkswagen Squareback. So this one was impossible to find in Europe because everyone collected. So I did not have this one. I did have the other four of the first wave. So I've got a place reserved for this one in my uh, display case. It's the one spot that is uh, still open, that is left open for this one to fill it up. Custom 69 Volkswagen Squareback. Very cool VW service van or panel van station wagon. So, uh, bonjour, quirky garage 1999. So, um, I'm uh, going to do a Volkswagen video and going to open it up then. I was also waiting for that piece to come in. Okay, the left side of the bag is empty, so now we go to the right side. Oh, yeah, look at that. Dubai Ambulance Supercars. So for some reason he got a hold of this. I think he had a buddy who had this and he traded his buddy for this. Uh, well, he traded something he had for, with his buddy to get me this. So, I mean, that's just the nice guy faxes. He just sees something a buddy of his has and he thinks, oh, uh, chasing the ICAS cars would like this and ju he just trades for it. That's just awesome. Look at that. Dodge Challenger. This is the SRT Hellcat or Demon. I'm not sure. Very cool. Look at that. So, yeah. That is awesome. Also, we'll be opening this in the uh, SOS Cars video. 50th super fast oh yeah the 1980 porsche 911 turbo in blue look at that awesome so so nice yeah really happy to get this one looks stunning it's even got a proper steering wheel can you believe that this is very nice. Very happy to get this. And he threw another one on top of there. A recolor. <laughs> nice. Kind of a 
primary gray color, I would uh, describe it as. So we're not finished yet. Yeah, Quirky, uh, I just haven't pre-opened these. I'm just opening these now, so you can kind of experience the excitement I'm having. Uh, this is a very cool one too. A 65 Volkswagen Type 3 Fastback. Again, he knows I like the VW stuff. It's in a uh, kind of a matte white color. Very special. So um, he got me the um, opening parts for one, the blue one, in the previous box. Now I got this one. Awesome. Very nice. Very nice. And this is the last one. Ooh, yeah. 2004 Honda S2000. Yeah, <laughs> quirky, I know. <laughs> Usually I'm much more tame than that, but, you know. Now you know how I feel when I first uh, find something or see something. So I got the opening hood, very nicely detailed engine underneath. Yeah, that is very cool. Definitely collect uh, the S2000. But we're not finished yet, because there's another box here. From Toys R Us, Australia. It's got some bo big boxes in there. Seem to be like transporters. Ooh, wow. Welly transporters. With tractor trailer combinations. I've never seen these in Europe. Oh, that's awesome. Look at that. Look at that. Now that's a surprise. Did not see these coming at all. Cool. That's very nice. So I found a hauler recently. So here we got a tanker. BP, British Petroleum. With a Scania also. Cool, never seen these before. They look nice. They've got some chrome on them. Yeah, really nice. And we got another tanker. Eco, -re Eco Recycle Power. I don't know if that's an existing livery. So they're all the uh, Scania V8. Did not expect to get that. Thank you, Fex, for that. Make sure to check out his YouTube channel, Fex Death, F E X space D E T H. Fex Death on YouTube. Great guy. I call him the Australian Lamley because he gets all the newest stuff before everyone else does. And then I got this box from JK. He does not have a YouTube channel. I thought this sticker was kind of interesting. X ray checks by Posty Group Finland. So instead of opening it up like they do in Brussels, they just x-ray it. That's cool. So this is 1.6 kilograms. So this got here within the week. So from Finland to uh, Belgium. So a much bigger box also than I anticipated for. Because, uh, you know, uh, I was not expecting to get such a big box. But these boxes are also always kind of tricky to get open. I know from the previous ones he sent me. He's a oh yeah, I kind of have to pull this thing. Yeah, like that. And then there's another one underneath. Thorough, very thorough. First up, we got this uh, magazine, Fast and 50, celebrating the 50th anniversary of Matchbox Superfast. So it's kind of a, um, a collector magazine from the UK. Because uh, JK is finished, but uh, he uh, currently lives in the UK. 
So yeah, very cool. Oh, look at that. Already on the last page, page there's already some uh, really interesting stuff here. I'm going to have a, a blast looking through this. Look at that. Best of British. Impossible to find in Europe. Cool. Nice, nice, nice. Look at that. It's got all kinds of interesting stuff in here. I didn't even know these existed. It's the first time ever I see one of these uh, magazines. Cool. Yeah, thank you so much for that. I'm going to have last reading that. And a little letter as always. Dear CDC, hello again. This one is the mixed box. So I'm going to see, I'm uh, going to drag stuff out and see uh, what he says about it in the letter. So here's a Corgi London bus. I collect London buses, so uh, he must know that. Very cool. I actually got them in different scales. So this is a little bit bigger than 164, but that's cool because I got uh, other examples that are bigger too. Uh, it's not really has a date on here. Doesn't really matter. So the Paddington is some kind of a movie about a talking bear, I believe. Uh, I care for the, uh, the casting, of course, more than the uh, delivery. Paddington Rootmaster is something I saw in a shop in the UK and I remember that you like London transport vehicles. Yeah, you you remember well, JK. Paddington books are awesome. I remember my mom read them to me as a kid. Oh, apparently there are also books. I thought there was just a movie. Uh, and the movies are so funny and keep the same spirit as the books. So I thought that it might be a nice piece in your collection. Well, it definitely is, JK. Thank you so much for that. So at the end of the year, when uh, Brexit... Uh, when the, the breakfast will take I will do a video on the London uh, public transport and then another video on um, UK vehicles just uh, dragging stuff out here <laughs> that's funny Recamis so these are uh, kind of uh, gums I think from uh, Tokmani that's a discount store in the Finland. A bag of candies from Tokmani delivered by the Tokmani truck. Yeah, uh, he sent me this truck in the previous box. Uh, done by Majorette. So that was very cool. So kind of cool it has the truck on there. Text Rekamis literally translates as truck man. Okay, so these are actually uh, for the truckers to uh, eat while they're driving. There is actually a Finnish song from the 80s with the name Rekamis, where ly lyrics say that being a trucker means you are a real man. <laughs> so you can feel very manly when you eat these. I haven't tried them myself, but I hope they are edible and you enjoy them. <laughs> well, I will let you know if they were any good. All right, okay. So this one, uh, I knew this was, was coming. So he got this very cheap uh, online. The, I will read what he wrote about them. Cadbury cars are something we discussed a while ago. I saw it on eBay for one euro 99 cents and thought about you. And, uh, the mag uh, and about the magazine he writes about Matchbox Superfast. I know you collect old catalogs, etc. So maybe this is of some joy to you. Yeah, it definitely is, JK. So this is a majorette set in a Cadbury's uh, livery. Cadbury's is, uh, I think they are chocolates, but it says dairy milk on here. So maybe it's not chocolates, but uh, just milk. So get some, um, an old Ford, I don't know, it's a Model T van, panel van, or truck, or a, a Ford A, not sure. So you've got the uh, uh, the US van, that's what it's called. And then we got the tractor trailer combo. Very cool set, love it. This must be pretty old. Oh yeah, here you go. Chocolates, it is. 
but they say dairy milk on them. Milk chocolate. Yeah, thanks, JK. Cool. Yeah, very cool to get that. I didn't have to spend a lot of money on it, so that's great too. Uh, here we got a recolor of the Finnish exclusive Voltra T4 farm tractor. I think I got a white one in a previous box and apparently there's a recolor in blue. And let's see. So I include here one color variation of the Voltra tractor, he writes. I believe that is major standard range as the product number looks normal. But maybe you have not seen that in your shops. No, we don't get these uh, Voltra ones. These seem to be exclusive to uh, to Finland. Doesn't have a separate barcode, that is correct. Although it does have a different number here. Yeah, interesting. Very cool. Yeah, love to get these country exclusives, you know. Um, this is some uh, filler up material. And then uh, no. <laughs> another Welly tractor trailer combo. And this time it's a Volvo. Biltema. Okay, I have to read what he says about this. Biltema Volvo truck is from a shop called Biltema. Well, that makes sense. It is originally a Swedish car part maintenance shop and has spread out into all Nordic countries. They have a rather good collection of Welly there and have apparently made their own Welly truck. So, of course, I had to buy one for you. Well, thank you so much, JK. That is cool. So, again, a uh, store exclusive. That is nice. So, now I have the Volvo tractor also. That's nice. Did not have that one yet. Cool. So, it's in the same style box as the other ones. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Awesome. Thank you so much for that, JK. Uh, you uh, definitely uh, put a lot more in there than I was uh, expecting to be in there. So we can look at uh, some stuff here. Um, any requests? Um, I think I'm going to open up this one. For starters. Hi from Sydney, Australia, Ken Baxter. So it's a uh, Model A. It's actually written in French here, Model. That's funny. So maybe these were made in France. No suspension. Got the plastic box and then the metal cabin. Nice. This is metal on metal, fourgon, which, which means French um, van in French. So it does have the opening doors, but they're still uh, uh, together with this plastic part. So I'm not going to break that. At the trailer hitch. And then we got this uh, tractor trailer combo. This is the smallest range of tractor trailers they have. They have three different sizes. So this is 1 to 100 normally. Yeah. There you go. 1 to 100. So all in there, typical purple color. It's even got the opening doors in the back. The plastic doors. Cool. I think this, uh, this does come off, yeah, like that. Nice, it's a Volvo also, this one. I think I have a played with version of this Volvo rig but i don't have a mint version like this i'm pretty sure so yeah that's cool cool to add some volvo to the collection um what else can we open up here going to throw that away we still have like 15 minutes or so i kind of i kind of want to open up these uh, super fast what do you guys think should i open these super fast or not Anyone interested to see that? Of course, the exclusive stuff. Hmm, maybe the... Yeah. What else we have? These. Mm -hmm. So the Hot Wheels we're not going to open up. 
Yes, yes, covers neither. The taxi is neither. Yeah, quirky. I can uh, so I can get that. You wanted a French fan, so some people would like to see these opened up. So let's do it. Fiftieth anniversary, super fast. C'est la vie. <laughs> Oh, wow. Look at that. Very nice. So it's got the plastic wing here on the back. Well, spoiler, I should say. Nicely tempoed taillights. Tread on the tires. So rubber tires. Very nice. Cool. Doors open up pretty wide. We got some uh, detail on the doors too. You know, door cards. And they close nicely too. Yeah. I don't have the red version of this Porsche, David, no. Salut, Lumi TV. Lumi TV is a French YouTuber that uh, does a lot of majorettes and Norev. David Jones, if you are interested. Here's the recolor of this Porsche. 2020 copyright. It must be the most recent rendition, I think. So seems to have the same style of rims, yeah, but the different uh, center color, kind of matching the tempo. Hi, Hot Wheels guy, ninety five. So, yeah, they did a great job on color. You see, if they want to, they definitely can. Uh, color match the plastic with the metal it's very very nicely done it says matchbox on the license plate the blue one does not there's a little a few little differences yeah and this one gets the tempo on top too so this one does get some more paint on it not that that is necessary for me just like uh, this more Classy looking deco too. Let's stay with the classic cars first. No, I don't have any Skoda 164 scale cars, unfortunately. So, very special paint on this one. Nice gold rims, kind of steelies. VW logo, super fast logo. Lots of details in the back here. It's got the year 1965 on it. Don't know why they put the, the blue windows on there. That's kind of unnecessary, but anyways. And these doors I've seen on other videos kind of difficult to close because there's a lot of paint on them. Kind of makes them harder to shut. And this one is seems to be no exception, but you know, that's okay. It's got that strange stump in the back that I noticed on the on the blue one. Because it's not a post, because it just it just hangs there. So we got the chrome base, we got the chrome bumpers. We are very pleased to have uh, two versions of this now, opening parts one and the super fast one. That's cool. 
and then uh, the Honda S2000. Not a, lot, not a lot of S2000 to be found. I did a video on, on uh, all of my S2000s some time ago. This one has lensed headlights, that's cool. Wow, that engine detail is uh, second to none. Very, very nice. Closes nicely too. Got the same rims as the Porsches. See, but just uh, the ring is kind of uh, yellowish, but the uh, center part is the same. Proper steering wheel in it. That's nice too. The tempoed tail lights are very nicely done. Very authentic. I think it's a metal hood uh, Monaco. Yeah. Pretty sure it's metal. Yeah. It's a metal hood, so that's nice. Uh, let's see what else can we uh, possibly open. I can open up the, the tractor, the Valtra T4. This has the articulating piece. So a Finnish brand of tractors, as I learned from JK. This is plastic, and the, the dark blue is metal and the light blue is plastic. Yeah, <laughs> that's funny, David Harper. Where's the dude when you open a tractor? <laughs> um, let's see, is there something else here um, I would like to open that is not meant to be in a, a separate video? Mm. This is a separate video, uh, kind of, mm, yeah, definitely want to open this, and I want to open this too, the red editions, ah, no, would be great to have, keep these carded, but not really a carded collector, this one, kind of want to have the, get out the, um, the regular version when I open this up because I was not expecting this one. Uh, everything else is going to be kept guarded, I think, for now. Let's take a look at this BMW 850i. So, plastic base, metal body. The plastic base makes the rocker panel, it makes the bumper, and then this front lip here, the, the license plate is uh, metal. Nice color, very nice, sparkly color. And uh, I like that the interior is red, so the, um, the lights in the back are red. When it's got, got a version with a yellow interior, that looks kind of goofy with the yellow in the back, but this looks much more accurate, because that's how they were. Completely red tail lights. And the gold rims look nice on it. So yeah, this is probably the best version I have now of this casting. Pretty sure about that. And here's the uh, matte black Lotus Evora. I think it says 2008 Lotus. Can't believe I'm actually holding this in my hand. You have no idea how many um, supermarkets I drove to that uh, had this case to find this and then to find any. That was very frustrating. So thank you, David, for um, making me able to take that off the list of HDF cars, hard to find cars, gray interior. 
Yeah, I agree, JK. Very nice, Lotus. I have a few small major head busts, kind of a blade width condition, that's all. Right hand drive, because it's a British car. Get a look at the engine there. Yeah, very, very nice. Red edition, so yeah, I'm going to open these up when I uh, get out the um, the other versions that were released at the same time, because I, I should have those, I think. I'm not sure about this one. If I have this one, I would definitely will have the um, the other versions of this one from that from that year. I think this was the probably the first year of release. So yeah, going to keep this these for now. So I think that's about it that I'm going to open up in this video. The other ones are, uh, are for kind of separate uh, videos. Probably will be doing the SOS cars in a Sunday live video soon. Just need to uh, have, find the time to prepare for it. Uh, remember, next Sunday there will be no live video. I'm going to visit family. We're still allowed to do that, um, so uh, with within limitations. Um, yeah, uh, I think someone also asked to see these trucks. Maybe we can take a quick look at these. Maybe not all of them, but just uh, a few. I can uh, get these out in an orderly fashion. So we got, uh, let's see if we can detach these. Yep, there you go. So you can fold this down. So you can actually Put this up like that. And here's the Volvo. So this is uh, 164 scale or, well, 160 scale maybe. I don't have any examples to compare it to. You don't have one for yourself, JK? Wow. You're not into 164 trucks. Okay. The major red ones are. Let me just grab one here. Okay, so this is a major red, 164 scale rig tractor trailer combo. So let's see size wise. Yeah, these compare very nicely. You see, they're almost the same height and width about the same length too I guess they're different uh, car makes I know but I'm just uh, comparing two European COE rigs yeah David Harper thank you for watching yes I watch videos from champion DJK the muffins are ready <laughs> David Johns <laughs> The yellow transporter, I don't have, no. Uh, I have the, the red version of the car transporter, but uh, not uh, the yellow version, no, Monica. don't have that. So you yeah, have very cool. It's even got the taillights painted. Major Red does that too. Nice side mirrors, very nicely detailed here. Interior, nicely done too. With the dashboard pointed towards the driver. Yeah, very nicely done. Very nicely done. The uh, Scania we already looked at in the, um, the video. Click, there you go. And then the, the box is plastic. It's 
at opening doors here. Let's see. Got not a lot of detail on it. The lights are not tempered or anything. So yeah, very cool. And the tires are rubber. Look at that. And they had tread on them. Julie's in the back, of course. So yeah, cool. Very nice. These are really nice. I like him. So we already looked at the, the Scania and the, um, the video I did on the uh, hauler, the hauler, so I'm not going to... That's it for this video. So again, no live video next Sunday, remember. Uh, I hope to see you again in two weeks time. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for participating in the live chat. Uh, sorry, I could not uh, answer everyone because um, it's kind of hard to see all of the chats coming in. Um, have a nice Sunday. Have a nice week. Uh, thank you to those of you who send me these boxes. Very nice. You are all too generous. You are spoiling me. Um, check out YouTube channels, the worst YouTube channel ever, and Facts Death. And see you all again next time. Bye-bye.